I also want to ask a question. Yeah, you mentioned go. Taco Bell a lot in your videos. Uh, what's your favorite item from the menu? Oh, uh, this is no contest. Every time I go there, I get a chicken chalupa with nacho cheese, and I get a frutista freeze. Is that what yeah, it's called? Yeah, he does, because I've gone oh, to Taco so Bell and gotten it for him before. And uh, I like sucking up the strawberries. I like want to get a <laughs> That sounds so perverted. <laughs> but it's I like sucking up all the strawberries. But isn't it stuff. true? Like whenever you get an Oreo milkshake or a you strawberry just want fruit, all the you're like Oreo. Be- <laughs> you just want like that M and M. Oh, I wish an M M&M and M comes up through. <laughs> but exactly. uh, it's the truth. So it really is. All right. But uh, anyways, thank you for calling. No problem. Bye. So anyways, what's your favorite Taco Bell item? Taco. Isn't it weird that... I get uh, one taco. Just one taco? Just one and a root beer. Isn't it weird, though, that we go to restaurants and there's so many choices and it's like we kind of stick with the same one thing. I'm definitely a creature of habit. And uh, you know another weird thing? Hmm. I noticed this, too. When I was growing up, we had, like, a lot of restaurants in our city and, like, we probably had, I want to say... Uh, 70 restaurants in this town called Watertown where my family always went out to eat. Okay. And every time we went out to eat, we my mom would say, like, where do you want to go? And she would, like, give us choices of, like, the three same restaurants. And it's the same restaurants over and over and over again. And there's nothing really special. It was, like, Friendly's or Bob Evans. Mm. And even though there were, like, 70 or 80 restaurants in this town, she would give us these same choices. And, and I started thinking, I'm like, the food isn't really all that great or the service or it's like kind of a plain restaurant and my uncle would do the same thing he uh worked at a body shop and every day for lunch he went to the same exact diner even though there are a bunch of other choices so so i was wondering why do people do this if they want to you know i figure you want to mix things up but uh that's what i thought too but i think that people just once they go to a place over and over, then they begin they to feel with what they know. comfortable. Like if there's a a layer of fami- you like you're familiar with it. Mm-hmm. You know with the atmosphere, and you just feel comfortable there. I wonder if somebody who went to the same place every day, like if one day they just like went and it was like closed or something. I wonder if they'll have like a oh, mental breakdown. <laughs> they don't know what to do. They have to actually try new things. Seriously, a scary thought, right? But uh, yeah, yeah, it's weird that I think that people get in these patterns of becoming comfortable with something that they're so afraid to change like if you bought insurance and okay these commercials that another insurance company can offer you less you're just you know things are going good you pay your bill and you're not hurting anything so people are like are afraid to try new things in a way like once you get so comfortable and familiar with something but that's good in a way i mean if you're starting a business maybe a good idea like uh you said you wanted to start a bakery eventually Mm -hmm. maybe a good idea would be like if people are so scared to try new things at first and try, you know, they want to stick with their bakery, maybe if you're like, gave them an incentive, but like, we're going to give you a free cupcake. Of and, course. And, you and bribe no one, people. No one's going to turn that down. And once they, you know, they get familiar, like, okay, I'm familiar with this bakery now, then they're going to buy stuff. Mm-hmm. So, you know, just an idea. But I think that, you know. People it, like to go places where they feel comfortable and yeah, that they know. And, and it's kind of like getting them the first step in the door is the hardest thing. After that, it's, it's easy. Mm-hmm. Definitely. But, uh, yeah, that's my theory about uh, uh, cupcake businesses. <laughs> so if you ever try it, let me know how it pans out. I maybe that can be your well. slogan. We'll see how it pans out. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe not. But it 